Stan Jibalisco here. Uh, I would like to just uh, introduce you to the National Weather Service Enhanced Radar Image Gallery. Uh, it, it is April 29th, 2014. The time is about uh, 3.37 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time in the Black Hills of South Dakota. This is a base reflectivity radar image centered on Ellsworth Air Force Base which is a few miles east of Rapid City, South Dakota. Uh, I am located about midway between Sturgis, South Dakota here and Newcastle, Wyoming here in Leed, South Dakota. Now it looks to me like over the past few hours and this is just a few minutes worth of a loop here but over the past few hours this region of precipitation has more or less remained in the same place even though you can see that motion seems to be taking place from northeast to southwest or possibly north northeast to south southwest that's not too unusual in storms if you noticed uh, hurricane radar images and things like that you may see a blob of precipitation and think it's coming towards you and it seems to kind of hang out in the same place even while the general storm circulation pulls air over it it's very interesting uh, phenomenon to watch especially if you can get a longer loop like 12 hours or something like that now that's the base reflectivity now this is a composite loop now I don't know exactly what the difference is between composite and base reflectivity so I'd like somebody out there who knows to tell me I assume that base means the cloud bases and the composite is some kind of an average but I really don't know I honestly don't know velocity now that's a Doppler radar that indicates relative motion of the droplets of water ice particles snowflakes and everything uh, relative to the radar now remember that the radar here is at Ellsworth Air Force Base, right about where that arrow is. And you can see green regions and red regions. Let's get rid of the counties. Let's get rid of the highways. We really don't need the warnings. The legend kind of looks cute. I'll leave it in there. But you see green primarily and red now the purple I'm not sure what that indicates if someone wants to tell me that the lavender there the uh, dark magenta whatever you want to call it violet I think that means it's out of range of the reliability of the radar because I've always noticed it seems like an elliptical or circular region uh, the precipitation has lightened up considerably if you can believe this image or at least the amount of moisture up in the atmosphere but you see again a base velocity and a storm relative velocity they look just about the same but you'll notice the greens and the reds now I deleted earlier videos because I misinterpreted what the greens and the reds mean green means that the particles such as water droplets snowflakes ice crystals or whatever are moving toward the radar Red indicates motion away from the radar. And usually those two regions will converge in like they're kind of like a couple of tangent curves right where the radar is, which is right about by the D in Rapid City here, or maybe at the space between D and C. Ellsworth Air Force Base radar, I believe that's where it's located, is Ellsworth Air Force Base. So you have to refer this motion to this point. You can't say that this is motion relative to Sundance or Sturgis or Newcastle or even Leed. It's relative to the radar set itself. And if you can believe that, that, that motion would be almost straight north to south, possibly north-northwest to south-southeast. So we look at the storm relative uh, velocity, the base velocity, we can look at the base loop which is reflectivity and notice the difference in the direction it looks like north northeast to south southwest so there's a slight difference in the direction of 
apparent overall storm circulation, and I suspect that's because of a difference in altitude and wind shear. But again, if someone knows why that is, and, and also if someone knows at what altitudes these images apply, is it 10,000 feet? Is it 15,000 feet? Is it 5,000 feet? What altitude is it? Uh, so uh, those are questions I'm asking you, and I'd like to learn uh, this stuff from you, but at least I learned on the internet I was dead wrong in my previous uh, interpretation of these images. I thought red must mean it's coming at you. I mean, red, you know, it's watch out. And green must mean, okay, it's moving away from you so, so long. You know, but it's actually the other way around. The green indicates particles moving towards the radar, and red indicates particles moving away from the radar. So that's just kind of an interesting little take on this what I call winter storm whatever which so far I believe has dumped close to 30 inches of snow on my town here Leeds South Dakota a lot of it has melted and settled <clears throat> so it only looks like a couple of feet on my deck only only a couple of feet but I'm not worried about that heavy wet snow on my deck by the way I've got floor jacks under there and storm atlas last October dumped eight foot of snow on that deck heavy stuff. It didn't even wink. That deck stood there like a rock. Famous last words from the Nerd Cave. Until next time, so long.